Well, afternoon, everyone. Just wanted to show you something. Um, this is the 24-inch uh, uh, tall armature from Trueform Armatures. And uh, just wanted to show you what you can do. Now, this has got the lever for loosening and tightening the... Uh, and changing the direction of the uh, support in the back of the uh, armature. And what I'm doing right now is I it was all the way up here and what I'm doing now is just slowly rotating this uh, bolt. I'm in no big hurry. And it's lowering like uh, going down to the height that I'd like to have this. I don't need it quite as high as I had it. Now, I'm going to determine the height from the uh, board by this uh, part of the foot by turning the uh, foot down, straight down. I want to show you how you can use these as a guide for you to create your own armatures if you want to. I don't have any wire here to do an armature. I wish I did, but I don't. I've slowly lowered this guy down to right there. Now I'm going to bring the other bolt down. Until it locks, and then I can just... Uh, Take this expandable wrench here and, and tighten that bolt. Now it figures almost where I want it. But what I wanted to show you is how you can use this as a guide for proportions for any kind of armature that you want to make. Many of you make your armatures differently than I do, and that's just fine. Uh, I got this uh, pair of calipers, and this gives you your head measurement. And then you got the measurement down to the bottom of your uh, rib cage. Uh, you can actually measure the whole rib cage or measure it by heads, which is normal. Let me get this head properly placed here. There we go. And three heads down, it should meet to the bottom of the uh, rib cage, and then uh, another head down to the uh, point of the bone in the groin, and then you go back up, and it should be almost two heads from that point to that point, and the same to that point. And uh, but anyway, there's your measurements right there. You can measure the width of the the uh, hips. You can measure the height of the hips, you can measure the width of the uh, thorax, and the height of the thorax, and then you can go from there, as well as the uh, length of the, uh, the uh, bone here and the bone there. Uh, this elbow should fall in right e even with the uh, bottom of the rib cage, and it does on this. Um, but that way you can make your own armatures at home from this armature. So you, you could buy this and if you don't decide to use it, if you decide to save it for something special and you still want to learn your proportions, you can learn it off the, uh, the armature itself. Now the smaller armature, the 18 incher, doesn't have the bones in the arm. And that's the only difference. It's just smaller and doesn't have the bones. So I thought I'd point that out to you. Uh, you can get the horse armature and do the same thing. Now I'm going to wait till I get the, a horse armature from uh, Trueform. They're sending me. They've got a quarter life size and a smaller one. I'm, I can't remember what he said it was, and he's sending it to me. So I'll get it next week sometime, and I'll show you um, exactly how to uh, start a horse. Well the way I start a horse, <laughs> anyway. <laughs>
All right, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you next week.